Hunting the murderer behind the mask. Nearly a month after the first beheading and still no official identification. But could facial recognition software help? Unsurprisingly, facial recognition works best when you can see the whole face, as in this example. The software treats the face as a 2D image and identifies different points on it, including the tip of the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, lips and chin. The program then determines the relative position, size and shape of those features. The features are extracted and matched against a database of corresponding images. Now, in the popular imagination of police and spy dramas on TV, agents will scroll through thousands of these, hundreds a second. In fact, it's much quicker. The average facial recognition software will scan one million faces per second. But in the case of David Haynes' murderer, it's a lot trickier. Canadian firm Face Forensics specializes in recognizing partially obscured faces. They extract the few details on show and match that to a generic face then apply similar techniques as with the full face. But the probability of a match is much lower, and then there's still the problem of the low resolution of the photo. At that level, uh, you're not just not getting enough information to differentiate one face from another face. There are tools, of course, which can enhance images. So if you can enhance that image itself, um, then obviously the face recognition system will have a, a much better chance of, uh, of coming up with a, a likely match. Your evil alliance with America. Other pieces of evidence might help put the puzzle together. Human and computer voice recognition is one. Analyzing the background of the images is another, as citizen journalism website Bellingcat has done using mapping imagery. And then there are the more traditional techniques, speaking to sources on the ground, identifying potential suspects. But there are only three videos for three murders. Even with the most advanced software and techniques, these videos are testing the limits of biometric experts in the West. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.